Hello everyone. In the comments section of each of my previous videos, I have received multiple requests uh, from a number of students about making a video targeted specifically at MTech students. So here it is. I have made a video. I hope it will help you. Now before we can jump into this pieces of advices, uh, advice that I am going to share, uh, it is important to understand that at the MTech level we are talking about more senior students. So at this senior level, uh, there is a greater variety in the hopes and aspirations of the various students compared to the undergraduate level. So uh, we have to first identify the broadly the different kinds or groups of students uh, along with the different hopes and aspirations that they have uh, so as to put the uh, pieces of advice that I'm going to share in the proper context. Okay, so the first group of students is uh, uh, comprises uh, those who have cleared GATE with the primary objective of joining a PSU. Now, there is nothing wrong with that. Now, what happens is that uh, the scheduling of the PSU interviews is such that the uh, classes at the IITs and NITs, they already start. So these students, they join the IITs and NITs and other various uh, proper institutes. Uh, but that is like a stopgap arrangement. Their primary objective remains joining the PSUs. Uh, I have no problem with that, as I said, but uh, what I'm going to share the pieces of advice, it is not relevant for them. The second group of students are those uh, who have cleared gate, who want to complete their MTIC degree from the IITs, the NITs, the different uh, good institutes, but it is uh, perhaps only with the sole intention of getting the tag of that good institute so that it will help them in their placements uh, down the line. Uh, I mean at the end of the two year degree course. Now I'm not trying to be judgmental here uh, because I am very much aware of the practical realities of a middle class family from which uh, many of the students belong uh, and the need of getting a job. But this is where, I mean, this kind of aspiration is where most of the conflicts arise between what the students expect and what is the reality. Okay, there's a big, big conflict here. And it is uh, targeted to this group of students that I wish to uh, aim my uh, pieces of advice. The third group of students uh, comprises those who uh, have cleared gate and have joined the IITs, the NITs and various institutes but they genuinely have a wish to complete their MTech degree properly, to learn something uh, properly. Uh, maybe uh, down the line, they also wish to go for jobs, uh, maybe for higher studies, uh, but they, they have a genuine wish to put in the work required. But even then, uh, there is a subgroup of students among them who uh, suffer from certain misconceptions and I hope my pieces of advice will be uh, helpful to them also. So let's now jump into the actual pieces of advice. So first of all, regarding the coursework, uh, please note that in this video, I'm not going to discuss anything about the research work, which takes place in the second year of their studies. Uh, maybe uh, a dedicated video for that, uh, for the research work uh, needs to be made separately. Uh, this is only uh, about the coursework and other such stuff. So regarding coursework, there is often a massive conflict in the minds of the students. So what happens is that sometimes they are stuck uh, thinking or, or, or keeping their level at the undergraduate or uh, maybe at the level of the gate preparation. Okay, so this is where the biggest conflict is because you understand that uh, most of these MTech level courses uh, at the IITs and I'm sure at the NITs, they are designed in such a fashion that they're supposed to act as a bridge between uh, the introductory undergraduate level courses on the one hand and the higher level research kind of studies which is required okay at the at the, uh, the higher studies level okay so the mtech level courses are like a bridge between them so uh, uh, what actually happens in reality is that uh, in these courses sometimes you don't just need to learn new stuff rather you also have to imbibe or uh, learn completely afresh new ways of thinking. Uh, sometimes what happens that over the course of half a semester, even one semester, uh, students have to learn an entirely new framework. 
So unless the students are uh, very much open-minded or receptive to these new ways or new needs of learning, uh, they are often left with a feeling of extreme frustration. And this frustration stems from the fact that uh, in their head, they keep thinking that the coursework will still be nicely chopped up into little chapters with problem sets at the end. Uh, and when this does not happen like it used to happen in their undergraduate days, uh, they are, I mean, left feeling, oh, I mean, what is happening? Why, why, why are these things, why are these unfamiliar things happening to me? So a very important point to note is that you are supposed to feel a little bit uncomfortable. Okay, so if you're actually feeling uncomfortable with these courses, embrace that feeling. Okay, because the point of MTech is not to help you uh, or uh, not to cram new stuff into your brain, which perhaps we did not have the time uh, uh, in the undergraduate days. That is not the point at all. Okay, so you have to understand why the term master, okay, master of technology, what is the significance of this word master? The real meaning is that a master is not someone who is supposed to be aware of all the formula or perhaps even all the derivations. Rather, a true master is one who has developed an ability to learn the things which he doesn't know. Even more importantly, he has developed an ability to identify the things which he doesn't know, to diagnose his own shortcomings and to address them on his own. That is the true mark of a master. And the whole point of this coursework and various curricula uh, as part of this master's level courses, this is designed to help you and to push you actually, even, even if it means, means uh, making you a little bit uncomfortable, it is to push you towards the direction of achieving that level of mastery. Okay, so that has to be remembered very, very importantly. Next, uh, as part of the coursework, sometimes here in, uh, in the IITs, uh, certainly in IIT KGP, we have the system of seminars. Okay, so I'm not talking about the research level seminars, which you have to do in your second year, rather I'm talking about the first year seminars as part of the coursework. So this is like some kind of net practice to help you prepare for the next year. But this is actually a great opportunity, not just to develop the soft skills like presentation, public speaking, uh, actually making the presentation itself, all these things for the sake of your second year uh, research preparation, rather it can actually help you towards preparing yourself uh, for, uh, for jobs, for, actual, uh, for the actual soft skills which are required uh, in, the, in industry. Okay, so many students do not, take full, uh, uh, do not take full advantage of these seminars. I've seen this, so please, please try to uh, be a little bit aware about this. The next piece of advice that I would like to share is, uh, is something very niche and very close to my heart. Uh, is that I've often seen that many of uh, the MTech students, they do not take full uh, advantage of the wonderful library facilities which are there in the IITs. And I'm sure uh, the NIT is also a very good libraries. So please, please make it a point to, uh, I mean, I know uh, you have been suffering from this online semester, but uh, at some point you will get to come to the uh, campus and uh, you will get to visit the library. So do visit the library. Uh, I mean, many uh, so-called modern people will say that what is the point of a library? Everything is now available digitally. Uh, you can download books at your own free will. But I mean, the feeling of a library is completely different. Okay, you have to visit it to really understand. And please note that fine, you can download books, but you have to know which books to download. So library is a great place, not only for you to find books that you are looking for, but also to explore the other kinds of books, which you may not be aware of. Okay, so it's, a, it's a, actually a great place for exploration and, uh, and for the exposition of your mind. So take advantage of it. The next advice that I would like to give is regarding the interaction that you could have uh, or that you should have with the undergraduate students. Okay, so this is a kind of a sensitive issue because uh, there is some kind of, uh, I mean, I would not say conflict, but uh, some kind of uh, different feelings associated uh, with the potential interactions between undergraduate students and postgraduate students. 
uh, some of which is not at all desirable. Okay, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Uh, so try to get beyond these feelings. Okay, uh, and try to rise above those things. Because uh, I can understand that as MTech students, you are at least a year senior to the undergraduate students. So suppose we are talking about fourth year students uh, and maybe even fifth year students. I mean, at best you are, I mean, same age as them or in all likelihood you are, you are senior to them in age. So maybe it feels a little bit awkward for you to take um, advice or maybe interact with them. But do understand that within the IIT system or maybe within the NIT system, uh, in terms of experiences within the campus, they are senior to you. Okay, maybe they're younger to you in age, but they are senior to you in terms of the, the IIT experience or the NIT experience. Okay, so they do have some very valuable experiences to share. They have some valuable pieces of advice that they can potentially give you. Try to take advantage of that by trying to mix freely with them. Okay, initially they, you need to maybe make some proactive effort to break the ice. Uh, but I can assure you this much that the students who are genuinely academically serious among the undergraduate community, they will never have uh, any kind of uh, deep uh, ill feeling towards you. Which brings me to the next point and this is perhaps the most important point which I would like to emphasize on. See, I have often seen that the MTIC students when they come to the campus, they suffer from almost like a subsurface feeling of inferiority. Okay, so I've said it out loud. Uh, I know it is there, but this should not be there. Okay, this feeling of inferiority, I'm sure it stems from the fact that when you look around yourself, you see the undergraduate students, it always reminds you of the fact that maybe you were not uh, successful in JE. And these are the students who, uh, who were successful. And this feeling is perhaps a little bit more stark when you see the fourth year or the fifth year students because they are closer to you in your age. So uh, remember this, okay, you have passed GATE. GATE is not an easy exam to pass. For instance, you just take the GATE question paper and give it to any arbitrary, like not arbitrary, you give it to a good undergraduate student. Do you think he will be able to get 98, 99 percentile without any preparation. So you have done the preparation, you have proved yourself that you are good in your undergraduate studies. Okay. So be a little bit proud of that fact. Okay. So if you, if you, if you feel like that, if you develop that feeling, I'm sure you will, uh, you will uh, easily overcome your feeling of inferiority. It will actually give you some pride and uh, it will help you to interact better with the, with the undergraduate students. Uh, and it can make your stay at the IITs at the, and the NITs much more enriching. Okay, because you get to share so much experiences with them. And I can assure you, they also have a lot to learn from you. Okay, so if any undergraduate student is actually watching this up to this part of the video, please, please make it a point to mix freely with the MTech students. You have a lot to learn from them. I'm telling this from my first hand experience, one of my best friends. Uh, during my uh, dual degree days, my fourth year and fifth year was uh, an MTech student only and he's still my uh, good friend. Okay, finally, uh, one piece of advice is that, uh, you see, there is no shying away from the fact that you have to put in the work. Okay, you can't simply coast along, you have to put in the work. There are lots and lots of opportunities at the IITs, at the NITs uh, to actually level up make full use of those opportunities, actually level up. Okay, so maybe you are a little bit weak in speaking English, get a group of friends around you, practice it in a, in a very proactive fashion. Maybe you wish to uh, get some skills in programming. There are many undergraduate students who have, who, are, who have already leveled up in that aspect, interact with them, get some help, uh, get some tips from them, level up yourself. Okay, so, if you actually put in the effort in these various aspects, the coursework, the way that I put it, uh, the, the various extracurricular things, various interactions, various seminars, if you have gone through all these processes, like soaking in all the opportunities to the best possible extent, 
then at the end of the day when it comes for the time of placement you will see that the recruiters who are actually experienced in gauging your inner qualities and actually seeing through you they will be able to pick that yes there is some genuine quality in this student and they will pick you okay so uh, so peep so the irony is that people who just keep on thinking about placement and not put the work they coast along they will be at a far worse situation at the time of placement compared to students who come to iit or nit and soak in the experience uh, uh, take full advantage of all the opportunities and uh, and prepare themselves really really in a genuine fashion well okay so uh, all the very best to you uh, in your preparation in your stay at uh, these institutes uh, that you have uh, managed to come uh, through your uh, by by clearly by clearing gate uh, and uh, i wish that you have a wonderful career thank you very much